on Tuesday, I headed to the Grand Opera House, to the Baby Grand, to see an incredible play by a lot of amateur actors who did a professional job. Uh, the play is called Joyriders. It's from 1986, a very famous play for Christina Reed, which was very successful at the time. Um, and I bumped into an old friend, Robin Elliott, along with Pauline Carville, who's a director of Joyriders, and she's also a director uh, of the Apollo Arts Repertory Theatre Company. And I asked her, why did you choose Joyriders, Christina Reed's play from 1986? This is what she said. Um, I was brought up in West Belfast, so um, I used to pass Divis Flats. And um, obviously being an actor myself, um, initially I trained at drama school and I used the Sandra speech from Joyriders to get into both drama school and when I trained as a singer um, at the Royal Academy of Music for auditions. And, and it, it's very, I'm very passionate about it. Robin, um, we talked about this on the radio about six months ago. It's come to fruition. We're in the interval at the minute. We've just seen the first act. Um, it's just been amazing and, and what you've been able to pull together from the, the, the people that you've brought together. Explain that. The cast are all brilliant. And, you know, a couple of the cast members, before we did this the first time around in the Fela last year, there was actors out there who'd never been on stage before. Nathan Donaghy, who plays the part of Arthur, had never been on stage before. And what a performance he's giving out there today. Kleina, who plays Maureen, comes from the Divis area, had never done anything like this before. Her first big role as well. Uh, you've got uh, James out there playing and Tommy acting his life out there. He is absolutely amazing in the part. All the cast members, Amy who plays Kate and uh, Carly who plays Sandra, these are people you're going to be seeing a lot more of. That's the most important thing that we do at Apollo Arts. We're a repertory theatre company, so we train actors on the job. Uh, they go through their training, they go on stage, they do a performance, they get better and better and better, and then we hope at some stage we'll be handing them over to the likes of the other people out there, the likes of the Martin Lynches and people who are doing even bigger plays in Belfast, and uh, yeah, I, you will be seeing a lot more of these people. The interesting thing about it is, this is a play from 1986, without getting political, it's very transferable still today. Absolutely. Um, the brilliant thing about Christina Reed's writing is that she would mention the lads. It's not about that. It's about what was happening in Divis Flats at the time, the, the state of the Divis Flats and what the people were having to live in. And of course then, because of their social upbringing and things like that, what, you know, it transferred then to the children, you know, parents not being happy, um, where, they, where they were having to play in a concrete jungle goal. It's very transferable because today there's drugs, there's alcohol um, and uh, you know and, and we still have people who joyride. The, the audience got all the gags. There's kids out there who don't know, have never seen anything like this before. They're learning about their history, what their parents, what their grandparents went through. So it's a totally new experience for them out there. And an old telephone on stage. Yes, <laughs> an old telephone. It's great to see them, isn't it? One of our cast members, can I just say, didn't know how to use the old telephone. She actually said, what are you She said, what is this for a start? And somebody said, it's a telephone. How do I make a call? My name's Cleana Fisher and I play Maureen Riley. Do you have much experience? No, well, not much. I've got most of my experience of Pauline Carvel. So this is where you've learned basically your craft? She's taught me everything I know. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, aspirations for the future after this finishes? Well, eventually you want to get into film. So hopefully that's where my go-to place is. So. And are you a Belfast girl also? Of course I am. Three and three. <laughs> uh, Robin, it doesn't finish here. Where's Apollo Watch going from now? Do you know, Apollo Arts has got so many things in the pipeline. We're here with Joyriders at the Grand Opera House until the end of the week, until a Friday afternoon. When we finish Joyriders, we're straight into the next play, which is Dennis Kelly's DNA, which is on here at the Opera House in February. We have just got the rights to the high school edition of Chicago, the musical as well. That's happening in April. They're telling me Blood Brothers is coming back at some stage next year as well. And uh, there might be something big for Christmas next year. So we're planning years ahead. Pauline, you still haven't cast me? Well, you have to come for one of our auditions and you might just be lucky to get into one of those plays. Absolutely. The stars of the future, in my opinion, without a shadow of a doubt. Playing again tomorrow, and then it finishes. Tomorrow, it's going to be on at 11 o'clock in the morning and half past one. Wow. Really, really, really had my eyes open. Lots of amateurs doing incredibly professional performances in that just amazing venue that is the Baby Grand to the right-hand side of the main Grand Opera House. Incredible.